You can't call yourself fit unless you can do these seven tests. According to Men's Health. Let's find out. Cool t-shirt bro, I'm um, glad you got the memo. Matchy Matcheson. Mate, we're sponsored, innit, now? What? Well, have you seen what they've, you seen what they've put on the inside of your t-shirt, though? Just to make me feel better about myself. If you have a body, you are an athlete. So it's basically saying, Leon, you're an athlete, but it's you're like, it's give, give him with one hand, <laughs> taking yeah. away with the other. <laughs> you're average. You're just, you'll do. How are you'll you do. feeling about today's tests? Great. I'm feeling good about they're no joke, are they, actually? They're no, no. I must admit, I like the fact, and this sounds really weird, but I like the fact that it's like, I don't know. Like, most, most of the strength-based ones I should be all right with, apart from a Turkish get-up and the fitness stuff. I'm like, ooh, I don't know what the Rowan's going to yeah. be like. It's going to be fun. It's so, be fun. without giving too much of it away... Should we just say what we're going to start with? Yeah, we'll start with what we feel is going to be the most sensible in terms of being tired. Yes. So, we're going to start, we're going to aim to start with 15 unbroken pull ups, right? Yeah, so 15 unbroken pull ups. Let's see what we can do. What I have noticed about today's challenges is that I don't, from the, off from the bat, I don't agree with it. If you can't do these seven things, you're not fit because I don't Very think you, you're not going to find a marathon runner, for example, who can squat twice their body weight, but I dare you to not call one of them fit. So, this is, I think it's this fitness across like a broad spectrum of it's basically crossfit fitness yeah isn't it? and what i and what i like as well is for you guys and girls at home you can all do this because it's off body weight as well with all the lift inside it's, of things, it's all off body weight so you'll be able to give this a, a go yourself we've got matt with us today we're over at rs3 which is where matt trains leon what's your weight today 78.5 dry kilograms <laughs> matt you're at what 86.2 and I am at 83 kilos which and I have actually though had a poo no I'd like one I am um, I filmed it so you can have a clip I filmed if you if there's anyone what, having a, a poo that's disgusting if there's anyone there with a crazy foot fetish get the hammer toes get, out get your tissue tissues out you'll get to see my feet in a second oh, I can see what he's doing he's literally just trying to do him without him warming up it was simple when the air's low, switch the tempo. When my friends go, it was simple. When the air's low, switch the tempo. Was that the last one? No, I think you're just showing, showing off. off. I think me and Leon have definitely left different experiences. That was very impressive. Is that 15? No warm up. Huh. Right, let's go and get some shopping bags out, boys. <laughs> That'll do. Oh my god, I'm... After Leon's showing off zero warm-up, 15 pull-ups, I've done a set, um, and we're just going to get stuck into this. Should be able to do this. Last time I did a max set, I think I got 19, so it should, should be okay. This is why we're putting this one in first, but never counting chickens before they hatch, eh? Where's my hype crew? Sorry, we're watching... Where's my hype crew? You're on TikTok, you're maybe hyping me up, boys. Oh, oh yes, that, that jiggled yes. afterwards. You should have filled that in 50 francs. <laughs> right, let's go. Oh. All right, 15 pulleys. 15. Pin those feet together, tight bum. Yeah. Three. I don't die, I'm a fight. I go down, bet I strike. I go hard, day and night. Money on the line, keep calling. Money on the books, keep all that. Yeah, buddy. Yes. Easy job. Lovely. Nice, mate. Well done. It wasn't as easy as expected. DJ Devers going straight in two. One. What would you do for a win? What would you do for your friends? What if this life is a foe? What if it does pretend? What if you roll to the end? Easy. Boom. Easy. No drama. Number one done. 15 unbroken pull-ups. I should say, this does not say it has to be done in one day. Could be done in a lifetime. So, could be done in a lifetime. <laughs> we're, we're trying to get... We've already done the 10K run, we'll tell you about that later. Today we are getting all of them probably bar one. Yeah, because there's two rowing events. And they're gopping. They're, they're both pretty ranked. So we'll get one done and then we'll just see how So we we're going to go on to workout number two. Okay, so next up is can you back squat twice your body weight? Jesus, Matt, that pre-workout you guys give me, I'm struggling to get my words out. <laughs> we ha I have uh, a bit of a problem here. 
This is gonna make me have to lift six kilos, then my all time PR, which I did off the back of a squat cycle. Got it. So my heaviest back squat ever, 160 kilos. Me weighing 83 means I need to hit 166 today. Leon and Matt, <laughs> it's like 80% of what they need to hit. So um, get ready to see some prawning. Go dummy, go beast. I go beast. I go beast. Uh, with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like. 550 on the fast stick, you can get high with me, that's a deal, right? Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like. Right, we're getting up there now. 150 on the bar. I've got to hit 156, is it? 150. That's so depressing. Something like that. 150 something. So we'll and do what this. What is your all time on RM? 180. Oh, but I am 10 kilos lighter body weight than when I hit 180. And I did accidentally hit 170 on Monday. So accidentally, hopefully. accidentally hit 170 I, on Monday. Hopefully so, it'll be all right. So you've got a squat. How many kilos left in 170? Like 13, 14 kilos less than what you hit on Monday. I've got sort of six kilos than I've ever squatted in my life. Take away message here, kids. Squat more. Get stronger. Gear. Gear. Energy to win it, my nigga, I'm feeling great. Got a date with Destiny, focusing on my fate. I don't give a fuck what you rapping, you been a fake. I'm everything that they ain't. It can't be, it won't be. Wanna see me fall, I can't go, I won't leave. Coming from the block with plain clothes and police. Straight up to the top with bankrolls and rollies. Ride with me if you ride with me. You can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the Right, I've checked out. Matt has now gone up to 172.5, which is his working weight. We're giving JC an extra little minute just to compose himself, and we're going to go back down to his number around 160 to begin with. Then we're going to 166. So this should be really, really easy for Matt. There's no mess in here. He's just going to get out of the way, and it's going to be really depressing for us to watch. We're putting up there for me now. We're going to go for one RM. So I put one kilo on rather than trying to hit 160. Go 161. Worst case scenario, fingers crossed, we get a, uh, a PR at least. Very annoying. Same old, same old kind of chest drops and it goes at the front. Actually, looking back at the videos, the first one was a way better position and probably should have fought a bit harder for that, but it is what it is. Doesn't get two times body weight back squat, which I knew was going to be tough. So, on to the next one. Oh, next, bench press your body weight for 10 reps. I never bench, but I'm pretty confident on this one. Go dummy, go beast. I go beast. I go beast. So obviously my body weight is a little bit less than 80, but for the sake of fractions, and I do bench press quite a lot, I'm just gonna do 80. He says, very confidently. RX Leon's plus. about to do 10 reps at 80 kilos. Hashtag RX plus plus, go. Go, 80 kilos. <laughs> right, Jimmy, you might wanna slow this down because I'm gonna go fucking fast. <laughs> I just wanna go fast. Someone's had too much caffeine. Not lying, now is he? Oh, sorry, sorry, bench. Oh, there's an eight or nine. Don't know. Okay. <laughs> Hashtag go. Doesn't count if you can't really back it. I was way it. too close to the bar. <laughs> so cocky. It was about twelve, eh? All right, that was good. I knew that one would be all right because obviously I bench quite a lot. I don't do as much like hardcore CrossFit stuff as I used to. I do a little bit more of like a, a hybrid approach. So I do bench press every week at the moment. So I knew that was going to be all right. How many just? It's not the easiest thing in the world. <laughs> I'm going to try and not hit the bar like you. Yeah. Don't be a legend. Only legends hit the bar. Easy. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I like no one's even thought about asking for spotters yet either. Bench gains. <laughs> Three, four, five. Lovely, mate. Six, seven. Eight, nine, one more, mate. Yeah. 
nice, mate. Interesting that my dodgy shoulder does it better than my good shoulder. Another tick off the list, buddy. Two ticks out of three. Yeah. Now. You fart? I don't know if you would have heard that. That's no. great. Focus. This is uh, where everyone's a little unsure in this one. Into the unknown. And I'm going to be honest, this one out of all the, the things that are in there test-wise, I was like, I don't get it. Do you know what I mean? Like, of all the things, I was like, I don't understand get, get up why you'd put that in there, but that's probably because I'm shit at them. Well, we never really do them, but we've got no. these Turkish get-ups with half our body weight. Yeah, we and... We don't have a kettlebell. We've also got to use a dumbbell. So, not an excuse, but when you use kettlebell stuff, it can lean against your forearm. Mm -hmm. So this is purely going to be on the wrist. So if we even get close, we'll be buzzing. Well, let's just start working up the weight and see if we can get the 40 up and over. Should we, should we just start at 40? Is, I need to learn how to remember how to it's do it. It's that technique where you get a sweep how to underneath. To get to the weight. Push it. So it's like... <laughs> <laughs> he farted. Push. Knee under and around the back. Knee under. Turn. Stand. Is it just up? No, down again. We're going down. Which is the worst bit? Because you're fatigued. Okay, be honest. Tell me in the comments when was the last time you did a Turkish get up? I'm expecting most people to say like 2008 or something along those lines. Oh. So John and Matt have just found a dumbbell which still isn't he as heavy as they need it to be. Look at the size of it! A 40 kilo wonky sit up to start with. I wasn't expecting that. I didn't think anyone was going to get that one. I wasn't expecting that. Go dummy, go beast. I go beast. Run. 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 Now these cars and planes, I'm always boarding. Just out touring. 655.5 for Matt. 654.1 for me. 655.9 for JC. Okay, first bunch of tests done. Pull ups, everyone did them. Back squat, double body weight. Matt and Leon did that one. I failed that one. Bench, your body weight for 10 reps. We all did that one. Uh, Turkish get up. We all did that one, surprisingly. Um, I might do that one again. I can definitely do that better now that I know we all did it. Um, row, 2,000 meters sub, seven minutes. Everyone's done that. 10K run, under 50 minutes. Both Leon and I have done that. I will put our little iPhone clips up now. Go dummy, go beast. Oh, no. Okay, it's, uh, it's my turn to do 10K. I'm worried about this one. I don't like running, really. Uh, I've done a half marathon once with Leon. Uh, for it, the Great North Run. Uh, today, what I'm gonna do is I've got to do 10K sub 50 minutes. So it's five minutes per K, 25 minutes for, yeah. So I'm gonna run the first 5K and I'm gonna go for five minutes on the dot uh, and see how I feel. I'm well aware that gives me no room to slow down. So that's front five done. Gone out a little hard. 21, 22. So this back five's gonna really hurt. It said that back five is gonna hurt. It did. Unofficially, because I always count up afterwards, because there's always a lag on the phone. 43, 27. So JT, you can have my six and a half spare minutes. So I've just counted it back. 43, 26. That's the fastest 10K I've done in a very long time with no training for the 10K. So I will certainly take it. <sighs> 10. 
k 0.024933 which leaves just one left to do the most painful of the bunch without a doubt hence why we're not doing it today and that is row 500 meters sub it's 90 seconds or a minute and a half i've done that before and that is everything you have and after doing back squats and everything else not today Okay, so it has been a couple of days since me and JC did all the other stuff. The final part of this test, which you don't have to do in one day, is a 500 meter row in sub 90 seconds, so one minute 30. That is going some, That's, it's, it's really gonna hurt. We didn't really speak after the 2000 meter row, that was because it sucked. Um, one of the things they said in the blog post with the men's health thing was, they picked the 2000 meter row because it shows that you can silence your mental demons and kind of go into a dark place. And I wouldn't say I was there. I had a few questions in my head, like how much longer is this? Have I pulled the right pace? But at no point was I like, oh, I'm not gonna be able to finish this. Um, but it was a challenge. But again, that's something that we kind of used to doing that type of stuff with the type of training that we're doing. Maybe if it was um, someone who's more gym based, just uh, more bodybuilding, probably would have found that a bit tougher. But again, horses for courses. And as you've seen with these uh, fitness tests so far, Far. It's kind of about being well-rounded and, and so far Leon is a uh, six for six. I'm five for six, so this is really consolation for me, but let's get it done. I'll take that. Oh, I made the classic mistake. With 500 meter row of going out really hard. And then it just hits you at like 40 seconds in. And you're like, not quite halfway. And everything just starts to seize up. That really wasn't fun. But that doesn't mean I passed every test. I'm fit. Even though right now I just feel like I'm full of lactic. Oh. And there you have it. All seven challenges done. Six for me, seven for Leon. I think Matt's got the run or the row still to do. How do you think we did? How do you think you guys would have done on that one? And do you think it's a good challenge as a representative of West, whether someone is fit or not? Uh, jury's still out for that. I think across multiple fields it makes it makes sense uh, but like i said at the start you wouldn't tell a marathon runner they're not fit and chances of them being able to you know do the row and the run are probably going to be slimmer um so not the run the run the, uh, the row and the squats looking back at my squats yeah i wish i had gone for that but i wasn't feeling 100 percent that day and i don't think i would have hit 166 at this time anyway because that is way and above my pr but all in all very happy i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give us a thumbs up leave a comment um and We'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.